He must be so proud of the way he's coming across. I'm very proud. Very proud. Tony, what's it been like? Because it, uh, it clearly, uh, bless him, he's got quite emotional, certainly as he's coming to the end. There's a mum who you're sitting in that gloriously luxurious hotel. Uh, what's it like as a mum watching your boy <laughs> yeah. suffering and crying? Well, it's horrible, but I know it's what he wants to do, and I know he's brave and he's coping. I have every bit of faith in him, so I'm not worrying too much. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying watching home, his I achievement. Promise. He seems to have had some ups and downs, hasn't he? He's obviously enjoying the experience and then he gets tearful, as we say, because he misses home. Is that the nature of him, the boy that you know? Is he a bit of a homeboy that likes his creature comforts and all of that? Yes, he is. He loves home, creature comforts, and he will be missing them. But he's always up for a challenge, and this is a challenge. And remember, he's a camper. He was brought up a camper, so he's used to roughing it a bit. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, uh, now, Tony, there's been quite a lot of friction in the camp, certainly yeah. up till Lady C left. George managed to keep himself out of that. Was that difficult to watch, to see that friction in the camp, knowing that George was in amongst it and it's a very focused environment? Yes, it was very difficult, but I knew he'd keep out of it. I said all along he won't get involved. He hates trouble and he wouldn't get involved at all. And I knew he'd run, sure. I knew he'd hide and not give an opinion. Have you met Lady C since she got back to the hotel? I haven't, but I'm going to, and I'm looking forward to it. What do you think you might say to her? Um, I think I'll just say, hello, <laughs> hiya. <laughs> give her a hug, give her a kiss. We're doing a lot of that, kissing and hugging each other. Yeah, that might, I'll do that. That might be the safest option, I think. <laughs> now then, Tony, we can't have you on without talking yeah. about uh, the hearts that seem to be a flutter for your boy mm. in the jungle. It started off with Georgie, of course. It seemed like George and Georgie were getting on. Uh, now Fern was enjoying a little bit of uh, flirty hand banter. Mass, flanter. Flanter. Flanter yeah. last yeah, night. Massage, uh, well. Have you got a preference? Yes, I mean, yeah. what, what do you think? you think any of these, these ladies would be fine choices for your son? I think any of them will be fine. They're all gorgeous girls, lovely, warm women, all of them. And they'll just join all his other women. They'll be his friend. He's got so many female friends. Loads of them. They'll just be one of my girls. Ah, oh, that's what he tells you, Tony, I suspect. <laughs> but anyway, listen, yeah. uh, not only is George seemingly the perfect son, but you seem to be the perfect mother-in-law. How lovely is that? Great to chat to you. <laughs> and you. Thank you. Thank you.